to know before you dig before you put a tower up. Know where to dig before you put in a clothesline pole. You need to know where to dig before you plant a tree. Know where to dig before you put in a mailbox. Hi folks. Welcome to our new subscribers and our, and our regular ones. Uh, one thing I noticed on our, when we was doing the other video, I happened to look over at the building on the, on, I got my power cables underneath the uh, building here. And uh, uh, with uh, these, everybody's getting these uh, new tractors, the, the BX's, the 2601's and John Deere's and, and Massey's and all that. Uh, some things uh, people may not be aware of is when you're digging. Uh, no matter if it's with a backhoe, excavator, shovel, post hole diggers, spade bar, anything you put in the ground, uh, some things uh, that people might not uh, be aware of is the utilities in the ground and what could happen if you hit one of them. And uh, to, to the operators that's uh, the, is used to this kind of thing, I'm sorry, I, I, it's a kind of recap for you guys because you deal with it on a daily basis. But some people might not know, be aware of it. Now here in the United States, uh, we have what they call 811. And now uh, you call this number, and depending on the state you're in, because different states got different laws, uh, uh, here you have to call within the three to four days before you go into your, uh, uh, your project. And uh, what they will do is you call 811 and they will uh, you know, tell them who you are, where your project is, and that kind of thing. And, uh, and uh, they will come out, they will set a t uh, time and stuff when they will come out and uh, uh, mark the utilities for you. And what they will do, <coughs> well, well, what you have to do, you will have to mark your project in white. Come around here, Dan. I already spray painted this. Now we're going to uh, put a pipe in here later on for the drain. But uh, you will mark it where, uh, where you're going to be dig digging at. And uh, uh, like I said, no matter what, uh, fence post, clothesline pole, tree, what have you, uh, mailbox, what have you. But I'm going to use this for example right here. Now, you mark your uh, project in white, and uh, you'll call 811, and uh, they will come out and mark it for you. Uh, you will have, uh, now here we have uh, several different ones will come. The power company, the water company, gas company, whoever. Of course, we don't have gas here. All thing we have here is, uh, of course, power and water. And in this, our area here, we don't have sewage, we have safety tanks. But what they will do is they will come and mark it. Uh, and red is for power. Like the fire company will come and uh, they will uh, shoot it in here and see if there's any power cables in here, which I know there ain't. But uh, they will come in here and mark it in red. Spray paint can, uh, instead of white, be red. And they will put little red flags up. Uh, about this wide and about this long and uh, they will fl flag it. Same thing with uh, uh, the water company, the gas company, and, uh, and so forth. This, uh, and uh, there's different kinds of utilities. Reds for uh, power. And uh, actually what this is, is a card that I got eight from, eight from, uh, from 811. Uh, Grease. <laughs> Imagine that. But uh, anyway, uh, what I done was I blowed it up on, on the uh, printer and just uh, sealed it. Uh, it makes it easier uh, to read. But I got a little card in my wallet. Okay. But anyway, uh, the pink is for uh, temporary uh, survey markers and so forth. And the gas lines and uh, communications. Uh, the portable water and recreation water, water and, and, and then the greens for uh, sewer lines sewage but uh, anyway whatever the utility is they will uh, come in and mark it and flag it exactly where their uh, line is and, uh, uh, and if it's okay they will take the spray can and just put right okay on it but uh, 
Anyway, th now this is what they do in the United States. Now, I don't know what they do in these other countries, Canada, maybe our friends uh, in Canada, Paul and Kathy Short, uh, Steve Robb, uh, or some of our subscribers can uh, leave comments or what have you, how, how they do things. Uh, I'm really not, not for sure. But here in the United States, this is what they do. Uh, this is what kind of system we got. There's been so many accidents, people getting killed, uh, hurt, barely hurt. And plus, if you take out the uh, uh, communications, your 911's off the, uh, uh, is offline. Or, uh, so, you know, it makes a, a lot of problems. If you strike a, a water line, it could be a, a high pressure water line. It actually could kill you, cut you in two, or it just causes a lot of problems. Of course, you hit a power cable, uh, uh, there's a lot of damages that can uh, be done that way. And uh, speaking of power, what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to put in the description of different links of some videos I found on the internet on YouTube that may help you, uh, if, uh, maybe your children, your grandchildren, and uh, you can uh, sit back and watch. I urge you, please watch them to, to be aware of some of the dangers. And uh, there's one from our power company that they do a great job on. They talk about from the power when it leaves the plant down to you, it comes into your home, how everything works. And uh, then there's uh, some videos uh, uh, about 811, how uh, pretty much what I just uh, told you here, but they go in more depth and uh, how it works and, and stuff. Like I said, it depends what state you're in the United States, depends what your laws are. So it may vary one way or the other a little bit but uh, uh, but the uh, power company does uh, quite a few videos of uh, what you should do if uh, the power line is uh, has fell on the ground and uh, uh, of course stay away from it but they will tell you uh, if if you operate in an excavator a crane or something like that and you swing getting into the uh, uh, power line what you should do and what you should not do uh, I was really, uh, when I watched it, I, I, I learned some things I didn't know, uh, like shuffle your feet and d different things like that. Uh, when you, if uh, staying on the equipment or in the vehicle, unless there's a fire, if you're in danger, then exit it. Do not touch the vehicle or the piece of equipment at the same time when you touch the ground. Because uh, electricity will, will find us the fastest way to the ground. That's how it works. Uh, and uh, it will kill you. Uh, one thing uh, also learned I didn't know about is these uh, service drops. Service drops is from the transformer coming into your home. They got insulation on them, which I knew that. I always thought the insulation is to protect you. It is not. The insulation, according to our power, co power company, and a lot of you electricians, I know some, some of my subscribers is electricians. Uh, uh, but I always thought the, the insulation was to protect you. It is not. What it's made for is to protect, protect the uh, line from the elements, like rain and so forth. That's what it's for. That's why they tell you to make sure you don't touch with the ladder, guttering, and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, I uh, urge you to, to wa uh, watch these videos, and uh, it may save your life or save somebody else's life. Uh, not only uh, for about digging, exca ex excavation, but uh, the for, as far as power, what you should do about that, and and uh, and also I want to put some links in there too about excavation, uh, excavation uh, safety, uh, different uh, types of soil, A, B, or C. What am I talking about? Now, like I said, the, you operators, you do this on a daily basis. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, we watch the videos to find out more. Uh, uh, it's a, a really uh, something. Really, it, it, it can help you a whole lot. Uh, depending on what kind of soil you have, uh, when you're uh, digging with an excavator or a backhoe, depending on what side of the world you're on. Like my little tractor, they would call it uh, back rubber tire backhoe or a rubber tire excavator. Here we call it backhoe, but it depends on what or what kind, uh, what side of the world you on, what you call it. But any, anything that you put in the ground, uh, uh, be careful with. The uh, the type of soil you have, more sandy it is, 
you will uh, you would dig away from it and, and like a, like a V shape. Uh, there's been a lot of people killed uh, putting the, the uh, material when you dig it, put it right there beside the ditch. That's a bad bad thing to do. The reason why it puts weight on, weight on it, it comes unstable and will shift. If you have a man or a woman, a crew in that hole at that time with well, without some kind of protection, they they can suffocate in just minutes. And the time they call 911 or call for help and stuff, they're gone. They ain't, they ain't really nothing they can do for, uh, do for them. It, uh, all that dirt will put put pressure on your lungs and push up uh, air out, and you'd be suffocated. So, I mean, stuff like that it, uh, uh, is worth knowing. I mean, some people might not know this, and uh, some of you I'm preaching to the choir. But uh, anyway, I thought I might uh, bring this to some people's attention to make sure, uh, you know, you'd be aware, aware of the, uh, things like this, keep you out of trouble or harm's way, or maybe somebody else in a harm's way. So, uh, uh, but I'm going to put, uh, put them in the descriptions. and. Please watch them, uh, and uh, whenever you have time, what have you, because it may, it may save your life or somebody else's. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, all the ones I've seen and stuff, how they talk about. Now, on the ones from the fire company, the, it goes in a series, and they do overlap a little bit too much, I think. But anyway, it's a good video, but they just overlap a little bit too much, uh, my opinion. But it is what it is. I mean, they take the time to make the video. Making these videos ain't easy, folks. <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> it's a lot of, a lot of editing to do and filming and get everything just right. Blah blah blah, and the sound, etc. But anyway, uh, they will. Uh, they overlaps quite a bit. But uh, anyway, please watch them, and uh, uh, you will learn quite a bit. I I'm sure. And uh, but anyway, I thought I'd bring this to, to your attention. And uh, uh, everybody, please stay safe. Uh, every time I've uh, said, said that, uh, that's why I always mean stay safe. Not only in the vehicles, driving down the road, of course that too. But whatever you do on your job, no matter if it's a machine shop work, uh, driving a truck, um, running equipment, working in the warehouse, uh, putting roofing on, what, what have you. Please work safely. And uh, I always said this to, when I was a crew leader uh, or a supervisor and on different jobs. Whatever you come to work with, that's what you ought to go home with. Return back to uh, back uh, to uh, home with your, to your family and stuff, exactly how you left that morning. And uh, if something's not safe, bring it bring to attention to your supervisor and such. And everybody should have one person, uh, like an overseer see her on safety to, to look for safety issues uh, depending on the outfit and that kind of thing uh, uh, if they will have it or not but anyway it's a safety issue bring it to to somebody's attention whoever's in charge what have you or if it's a kind of hazard uh, tell, uh, tell your other crew, uh, crew guys around you because they may not see it no matter running equipment or what have you but anyway uh, I thought I'd run this by you and uh, and uh, our friends in Canada and these other countries. If you if you don't care to, please comment down below in the comments or in the discussion tab on our channel uh, or email us if you don't want to be uh, uh, mentioned or something. I have some people that, that emails emails us. That's fine. That uh, that don't want their names don't want to be mentioned. So I don't do that. But uh, anyway, if you want to do that, that's fine too. And uh, uh, that would be real interesting how these other countries uh, does this too, uh, to keep air, keep the public safe, and uh, plus the uh, keep the utilities online and don't have any trouble. But anyway, I appreciate y'all, uh, our subscribers. Thank y'all for your kind comments and such, and your th uh, thumbs up, and uh, uh, we appreciate you guys. We have a great big gr uh, great group of guys. But anyway, y'all uh, uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out. And uh, watch these other videos. I have the links to down below in the description. So uh, everybody uh, take care. God bless. And uh, stay safe out there, guys and gals.